Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve here in the house! And today I am bringing you a sick-ass commentary that I'm sure a lot of you are going to enjoy. Um, as you can see in this topic, I will be discussing my first graffiti experience. So, I figured that since none of you graffiti fans like my gameplay videos, I know you never watch them, you never click on them, I figured I'd lure you in with a little graffiti. Yes. Graffiti. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm being crazy. Anyways, um, wow. That was quite the intro. I don't even know if I'm going to stick with that. No, fuck it. I'm going to keep it. It's good. Um, so the first time that I went out and did graffiti was quite the experience because honestly, guys, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I had no idea what I was getting into and I really didn't know how to do it the right way. Um, the first time that I went out and did graffiti, you know, I I had been drawing graffiti for a while, maybe a year, trying to kind of learn how to do it. And then one night, it was this kind of rainy night, and I just, I was at the point that I just had to try it. I had to get out there and do it. So what I ended up doing is I went into the garage, and I looked at all these spray paint cans that my dad had hanging around. And they, they weren't good quality spray paint cans like they weren't any professional brand at all they didn't have caps they were just regular old Canadian tire paint and I know you guys probably aren't Canadian so you don't know what Canadian tire is but it's just a local hardware store that sells random car paint and stuff like that so what I did is I grabbed a bunch of his paint tossed it in a backpack and I proceeded to walk to the top of my street and the reason that I went up there is because there was this little hut up there. Some sort of town run hut. I don't even know what it was for. They probably kept some sort of utility stuff in there. I don't know, but it it was just the first thing that came to my mind. It was like, okay, there's a hut at the top of the street. You know, I'll try and practice on that. And in worst case scenario, if I have to run, I can run right home. And it's no big deal. So I went up there and I pulled out a can and I started painting but what I didn't even think about when I left to go on this mission is that it was dark out it was dark and it was kind of rainy and once I started painting I realized that I couldn't see anything I couldn't see my lines I didn't know what the hell I was doing so you know I I did that for a little while and I pulled out some other cans and some other colors and tried to add more to it but it was raining and the paint wasn't sticking and it was just a complete disaster and my hands were covered in paint like absolutely just covered in paint and then I'm thinking to myself okay now I have to go back to my house where my parents live and I have to somehow sneak in there with these like literally my my hands were red like I was gonna be caught red-handed so I didn't know what to do but Basically, I went back home, snuck in the garage, tossed the paint back where it was supposed to be, where I originally found it, and then I went into the house and I kind of just put my hands into my sweater pockets and didn't let my parents see it. And then I snuck to the basement where I knew there was some paint thinner and I used paint thinner to get the paint off of my hands because that stuff was just stuck on my hands. There was no way to get it off. So, yeah, that's what I did. I removed the paint. Luckily, my parents didn't catch on. They didn't find me doing that. And that was my first graffiti experience. That was it. And honestly, it sucked. Like, I didn't paint anything good at all. It just... It totally sucked. And I think um, what I'm trying to get at to you guys is that... You know, you don't have to go on these crazy illegal missions or... I would I would say your first graffiti experience honestly guys you should find a legal wall where you don't have to sneak around and you can get the right paint and you can take your time and you can really figure out how to do it right that is my recommendation to you guys because after that experience what I ended up doing is I found some friends online who were into graffiti in my area and I went out with them and I went under this bridge on a nice sunny day and they had like real good graffiti paint and I painted with that and it was such a better experience so yeah that's pretty much all I got to say about that I just wanted to tell you guys about my first graffiti experience and I figured it'd be fun to lure some of you graffiti fans into my gameplay videos because I know a lot of you aren't into these 
But, uh, yeah, I just thought that this would be a fun topic of discussion. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like it and share it with all your friends. And that's all I got to say. So thanks a lot, guys, for all the support. And I will be bringing some graffiti to you really soon. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace out.